Hi, so the first thing that you're going to want to do to get 3.55 online is download this application here, which is specifically called Charles. And you're going to want to download that. Down, you can select the which uh, OS you've got, and then just run the installation on that. Now, if it's done installing, what you're going to want to do is go over to your hard drive on your computer, click on Program Files, and basically navigate your way over to um, you can see them on program files and then Charles will be just a folder called Charles open that up and then open up docs and then this document here it will be called Charles Proxy SSL Proxying Certificate dot S dot CRT you want to click click on copy that and paste it somewhere, I'm going to paste it on my desktop desktop, and then you're going to want to click on rename and you're going to want to rename it CA24 oops CA24 and then you've got to change it from zoom in here, you've got to change it from .crt to CER click it and it'll say that's you want to change the file extension, just click yes Right, now you've got that. And then also you're going to want to download in the description. There's a link to this in the description. You're going to want to download this file here, ps3dns.version3.2. And then when you extract that, it will come up with this. And then you're going to want to put this file, asbestos1.5.pkj onto a USB stick and also you're going to want to put um, this certificate on your um, USB stick and once you've done that you're going to want to go ahead and put your USB stick into your PS3 so when you've put your USB stick into your PS3 you're going to want to go into install package files and then install that application and then it will come up here as this and then you're going to want to run through the installer and then at some point in the installer it will say run LV2 patcher and it might freeze your PS3 up a bit um, but it will hopefully say on the screen somewhere press X to exit and then press X and it will exit it and reboot your PS3 and then you're going to want to open up a file manager I use Comgenie or you can use FTP server, you can use whatever you want and if you're using Comgenie you're going to want to press select and turn it into red mode basically on the left hand side you're going to want to go to your USB or whatever storage OS you've got and find the certificate file, see there I've got CA24 and on the other side you're going to want to go to it'll say dev underscore, I think it's RV you're going to want to go to dev underscore RW flash you can't see, it's not there on mine because I've rebooted my PC so it'll say dev underscore rw flash I'm just going to click on the normal flash it'll come up with the same thing, click on data c e r t click on that and then find ca24 and just make a backup of it and then copy across the file from your from your usb into this folder ok so after that's done you're going to want to go back over to your computer and in the extracted folder that you've got you should have a file called charles.config you're going to want to click on copy for that and then in the address bar just go to go to your hard drive click on users click on your username click on app data click on roaming charles and then you'll see another charles.config just right click paste and replace it and then you're going to want to open Charles it'll be in your start menu one sec if I just restart that open up Charles it'll come up like this and then it'll be a pre-made uh, configuration so that it'll work for your PS3 just open it up like that okay just leave that open to the side and then go back to the extracted folder and you'll see a program called ps3dns.executable um, actually no, don't do that yet. Also in the um, downloaded 
um, extracted file. You should see something called PS3 update list text to open that up. Now this is designed for the UK. In the description I'll write how to change it to your own region. Um, and then basically when you've got that you're going to want to right click and click copy and go to the root of your hard drive. Don't put it in any other folder, just the root of the hard drive. You can see I've got mine there. Ok, now you're going to want to run that DNS application. If, we, if I just show you here what it does, it'll say I think your, PS, your PC's IP is that. And to check, you're going to want to open the start menu. In the search bar type in CMD. Just press enter and this box should pop up. Type in IP config and then the one that says IPv4 address just check if they match in my case they do so press Y and then enter and then it will say DNS server has started blah 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 so you leave that running and Charles running and then just kinda take note of this and go back over onto your PS3 so over on the console you're going to want to go over to system, you're going to want to go over to settings and go down to network settings. Click on the third option, internet connection settings, click OK. Now this will come up, click on custom. Whichever one you've got there, whichever one you've got, blah blah blah. Now here where it says IP address setting, click on manual. Then for the IP address you can just give it whatever, for the subnet mask it will say on the application that you run on your computer most people's is 255.255.255.0 default router is whatever you have 192.168.1.0 and then most people will have the same as me there and then for your primary DNS you're going to want to um, if I just go back over to my laptop the primary DNS is the IPv4 address that is for your PC that you're running the DNS program on. So you can see there I've got 192.168.1.149. Now for the secondary DNS, you're just going to want to do the same as default router. Click right, auto, do not use proxy server, UPnP enabled, blah blah blah. Enter and then it's important to restart your console I'm not going to do it because I've already done it and I don't think that's going to sign in for me right now because I'm going to have to reset the servers I'll be back in a sec oh no it did sign me in so there you go there's proof the proof that like PSN proof that it's jailbroken you obviously saw me run these applications and obviously I'll just show you on the system settings what f what uh thing I'm on system information three point five five and if I go out and show you the date it's the fourteenth of February it's Valentine's Day it's been patched now the simple DNS thing that was in my previous video has been patched a few days ago so hopefully this video f was helpful I mean I tried reading um, it took me about five different written tutorials and I was like hoping for someone to release a video and you know now that I've done it you know I'm going to try and help people release a video so if you've if you haven't been a noob and updated hopefully this is coming helpful for you I know that this text tutorial came in very helpful for me and hopefully I've helped others doing this and if you like this video thumbs it up please that'll help and 